Last September, bats infested all elementary, forcing campus to close for two days, which left parents demanding answers and action. Just last week, not only did the school welcome another bat, they also got news that the principal got the boot. They tell Fox 14's Chelsea Jones that they've been kept in the dark about what is really going on. She joins us live with the details, Chelsea. Parents tell me the LaSalle Parish School Superintendent hasn't been straight about the bat found in Ala Elementary, nor the principal's removal. They say it's time they get answers. Bring back dolls. Bats Bring filled back the halls at Ala Elementary Bring last September, exciting students and freaking out parents. So when they learned the bats were back, it was anger. A dead bat in the school's gym, a portion of the school that parents say was not treated in September. I feel like they deceived us. Um, they were told that they would come back, that the pheromones would keep the bats in the area. But that wasn't the only surprise that stopped them in their tracks. A letter went home last Wednesday informing them that Dawn Book would no longer be principal. She's on administrative leave, and the principal of Gina Junior High, Rhonda Russell, would be stepping in at Ala, prompting this rally. We thought it was important to show Dawn the support. Like she really fought hard to try to get some stuff because the school board. They didn't want to spend money. Which parents believe may have gotten her the boot. Kylie Smith says if the bats and books removal weren't enough, the front page of the paper brought forth even more questions. Gina seems to get a lot of money. They're getting a new field house for uh, health reasons. And yet, we still have bats. I would like to know how a field house takes priority over an elementary school. Parents have gotten no response from Superintendent Janet Tulos regarding any of the recent issues at Ala Elementary, and they're taking it personally. Just come clean. Just tell us the truth. Be transparent in your communications. We deserve to know what's happening with our children. After reaching out last week and today, we have not heard back from Superintendent Tulos. Back in September, she told us there was no timeline on the bat removal, but money wasn't an issue. Gina High School was awarded nearly $1.7 million for their new field house. Live in the studio, Chelsea Jones, Fox 14 News.